Today we are going to do our first program, which is Timeless Hello World in three simple steps. This is a part of the Databricks Basics playlist on our channel, so don't forget to check other movies added every week. Step number one is trivia. We need to log in to Databricks. I have the link in my bookmarks. If you don't know how to do that or you don't have an account, we were doing that in the previous episode, so you can go and check it. Step number two is to create a cluster, which is mandatory to run our first program. We can do that on the left side on the menu here where we have compute and then create compute. In next episode, we will be talking about the details of that and what different options means. For the time being, just follow me. First, we change the name of the cluster. Let's call it first cluster. And then what is very important, we change the policy over here to personal compute, confirm. And then we see, this is on the right side, we see the cost of the cluster, which we'll be discussing in the next episode. For the time being, we can just hit create compute. And after a few minutes, cluster will be created. You can recognize it by the green side over here on the left top side, just like in my case. And now we can go to the third last step, which is creating a notebook and writing our hello world. For this purpose, we need to go to the workspace on the left which is a kind of folders where we are keeping our files. And then on the right side, we have add and notebook. Before typing anything, we need to make sure that our notebook is attached to our cluster. And this we can do by checking on the right top side, we have here a list of available clusters. In my case, I have only one cluster and by default, this notebook has been attached to this cluster. In your case, it may be that you will need to go to the list and select your cluster. Once it's selected, and again, I can recognize it by the green sign, I can start typing my program. For instance, just like in Python print, hello world and in order to execute it i press ctrl enter and here i have my first hello world but that's not all in the databricks there is plenty of ways to write our hello world program we will go through two more ways as you could see the default language of my notebook is python you may have something else make sure that python is selected i'm clicking this plus sign to create a new cell and i will write hello world in sql or in sql depends how you pronounce it in order to do that i I just type percent sql enter select hello world and again control enter and that's another hello world just this type written in sql but the databricks is about processing a data so it would be nice to have some kind of hello world with some larger set of the data let me create another row and this time i will not type it by myself but i just copy it and what is happening here is i'm using spark to read this file and this file is available in all the workspaces so it will be available also on your workspaces and then I'm displaying the content so you can type it by yourself. And this is how it looks like. At the beginning, there's a lot of nulls. It looks like there is something wrong. But if I scroll it down, I see that actually the data from that file has been displayed properly. And I think that this is the proper hello world in the Databricks. Before leaving the workspace, you must make sure that the cluster is terminated to avoid being charged for it. You can do that by going on the right side on the top and clicking the cluster and then from the arrow you can choose terminate or you can do the same by going on the left side to compute where you created a cluster and hit a stop button over here and confirm the termination and you will have information the cluster is stopped. So just don't forget to do that. It was pretty simple, but each great journey must start somewhere. Don't forget to check other movies on our channel. And in the next episodes, we will talk about the clusters and notebooks. Cheers.